Hey guys, welcome back. It's Ari from EntermedSchool.com. Before we begin in lesson number 11, I would like to encourage you to download our new app on Android or iOS, where you can practice questions similar to the IMAT for each and every lesson we will have. So go download our new app and practice questions after each lesson. And let's begin. So gas laws are basically talking about the relations between different states of the same system. For example, if we have a balloon with, let's say, one liter of volume and one atmospheric pressure at 25 Celsius, we can easily find, using the gas laws, the different variables, let's say we change the temperature from 25 to 50, but we don't know how many liters we have, for example. We can use gas laws in order to calculate the before and after of the same system. So the first law is Boyle's law. It's, it's, called, it's also called the pressure volume law. It states that the volume of a given amount of gas held at a constant temperature before and after varies inversely with the applied pressure when the temperature and mass are constant. Or basically saying that the volume is inversely proportional to the pressure. And in another way, you can say that pressure times volume equals a constant, which means the pressure times the volume of the before, quote unquote, period of the system will be equal to the second, the after of the system when the temperature will have constant and we will have the same amount of moles. So moles are constant in both scenarios and temperature is constant in both scenarios. You can apply it, for example, let's say we have a balloon, a one liter balloon, at one atmospheric pressure and a constant, constant temperature is being forced into 500 milliliter of volume and we should find the new pressure. So let's use Boyle's law in order to solve this question. We know P1 V1 equals to P2 V2. The V1 is 1, 1 liter. The P1 is also 1, 1 atmospheric pressure. So 1 times 1 equals to the after of the balloon. What is the after of the balloon? It's 500 milliliter, which of course we have to convert into liters in order to stay in the same unit system. So 0.5 times P2, because we should find the new pressure, so it gives us pretty basic equation we can use in order to find the new answer, the new pressure. So, solving this question, you can see that P2 equals to 2 atmospheric pressure. So, what are we going to do when we have a different temperature and not constant temperature? So, the next law, called Charles law, or the temperature volume law, states that the volume of a given amount of gas held at a constant pressure is directly proportional to the Kelvin temperature. So because this law states that the volume of a given amount of gas held at constant pressure is directly proportional to the Kelvin temperature, we can represent it as volume is proportional to the temperature. Or in a different words, we can say that the volume divided by the temperature will be constant, which means Charles' law states that the volume of the before of the system and the temperature of before of the system will be equal to the volume of the after of the system divided by the temperature of the after of the system. So let's take the same balloon but in a different question. Let's say we have 50 Celsius and 100 Celsius and in this side we will have 20 liters. How many liters the balloon will be expanded to? So the first thing we have to do is to convert Celsius to Kelvin. So 50 Celsius 
plus 273, which is the way to convert to Kelvin, equals 323 Kelvin. And the same when we have 100 Celsius will be 373 Kelvin. Now we can use the following equation in order to solve it. So we have 20 liters divided by 323 becomes x of liters divided by 300, 373. Using simple algebra, we can see that we get 23.09 liters. And this will be our new volume of the balloon when we increase from 50 Celsius to 100 Celsius. So now we have covered the volume against temperature and pressure against temperature. But what we are going to do when we have pressure and temperature? So the third law called the Gay-Lussac law will state that the pressure of a given amount of gas held at constant volume is directly proportional to the Kelvin temperature which basically means the pressure directly proportional to the temperature. And if we want to have another way to put it in, the pressure divided by the temperature equals to a constant. And therefore our third law is P1 T1 equals to P2 divided by P2. For example, and I will quickly do it because we already did two other examples, we have a balloon before and after, as always, and the first pressure is one atmospheric pressure, and the other will be, for example, three atmospheric pressure, and the first system will be in 25 Celsius, and we need to find the new temperature of the after of the balloon. Using Gay-Lussac law, we can see that one atmospheric pressure divided by the Kelvin, so 25 plus 273 is 292 Kelvin equals to three atmospheric pressure divided by unknown temperature. Solving this equation will give us 894 Kelvin which can be converted into 621 Celsius, which will be the new temperature of our balloon.